All right, Shalom Wam, Shalom Wam. First off, and for most as always, I want to say, Call Him Layam Allah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honor be unto the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach well. And then Shalom Wam to you, sincere Akim out there that's, that's pushing this truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name <coughs> of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Okay, so this is going to be a quick lesson. And this quick lesson is going to be titled, There is Always Room for Improvement. Okay? There is always room for improvement. Okay? Uh, growth. You know, ultimately, you know, this truth is about, you know, uh, being reborn again. You know, uh, well, well, I'll say this. One of the aspects within this truth, you know, is uh, because this truth is... You know, very multi multifaceted. You know, the truth. You know, uh, you become a man in this truth. You know, because I, I remember, you know, the elder Apostle Kabar a couple of years back. He said, "In order to be a man of the, of the Lord, you have to be a man first. You know, and um, you know, me being the, a young man in this truth. You know, uh, uh, you have. You know, you're gonna go through." Go through things in his truth, you know, with brothers, you know, can, uh, you know, there's many testimonies on, you know, on brothers growing in spirit, growing in the spirit and, you know, and gaining experience in this, you know, in this journey, you know, but uh, part of this truth, you know, uh, you know, uh, the aspect of, you know, growing and improving in the spirit, you know, spiritual maturity, you know, and just, you know, growth overall, because we you know, we, you know, we came out the world and, you know, uh, and, you know, and to the truth, you know, and us coming to the truth, you know, we still had, you know, Gentile ways, you know, because, you know, we, you know, we had to be reborn again. You know, we had to be, you know, uh, rewashed and reintroduced to our heritage, you know, to Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, ultimately, you know, uh, you know, being cut off from this world, man. You know, and we are, you know, uh, you know, uh, relearning the ways, you know, the ways of old, you know, the uh, the righteous ways, you know, of, you know, of our heritage or, you know, of our forefathers, you know. But we're quickly, since I did mention it, um, let's grab this in the, uh, in the book of John, chapter three and verse three. And it says. Yahweh Shai answered it and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the Most High. Okay. Now, you know, actually, when we start at one, actually, let's start at one. It says, uh, John 3 and 1, it says, There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Yahweh Shai by night. And it said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher from the teacher come from the most high for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except the most high be with him. You see, so, you know, you had uh, Nicodemus, you know, uh, he was, a, uh, you know, he was a uh, uh, one of the, uh, you know, he was a, a leader. He was a, a, a leader. OK, um. Uh, he was a leader of, of Jake, okay, but he, he was a Pharisee, all right, he, but he wasn't, you know, he wasn't of the, you know, uh, the Pharisees that was wicked, you know, he was, you know, righteous Pharisee, you know, and, you know, uh, him and Yahweh Shai, you know, were basically breaking bread, you know, and uh, he came to Yahweh Shai at night, you know, and it was, you know, and when you picture it, it was basically, basically like in a, a private manner, you know. And it says, um, verse three, Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he could not see the kingdom of the most high. Right now, is that literal? No. OK, let's talk about, you know, being born again in the, in the uh, in your spirit, in your mind. You know, like I was saying earlier, you know, coming to this truth, you know, we, you know, ultimately, you know, you're going to go through stages in this truth. You know, you're going to go through. You know, um, through uh, through uh, how can I say it? You're gonna go through uh, 
them spiritual levels, if you will, you know, you know, like like just like a video game, you know, in order to get to the next level, you know, you uh, you got to you got to uh, or should I say in order to, you know, uh, upgrade, you know, your character or whatnot, you got to get what the attribute points, the upgrade points, you know, to grow in order to complete the game, you know, and as you grow, you know, more deeper in the game, it gets, you know, more difficult, you know, so how much more is truth, you know, because when you you know, grow more in spirit, you know, and being and being that we're at the end of this captivity, we're at the end of Esau's Edom, you know, reign, you know, the spiritual battle is going to increase, you know, so things are going to get harder. But that proves that we're at the end of Esau's world because, you know, the spiritual battle is is, is, is becoming more, you know, more bitter, you know, but like Apostle Kabar said, hey, man, you got to, you got to, hey, you got to take that bitter, you know, you got to embrace that bitter, basically. You know, Apostle Kabar, you know, well, I'll say the apostles overall, you know, you know, they speak about the bitter, you know, you know, and, you know, and, and the brothers and you know, the bishops under them. You know, we don't just speak about, you know, the sweet like these other camps do. We speak about, you know, the, the sweet and the bitter. OK, the truth is bitter, just like, you know, John, the revelator, when God believed the book of Revelation, the 10th chapter, he said that, you know, uh, when I ate this word, it was sweet as honey. But, you know, uh, but but it became bitter, loosely paraphrasing it. The truth is not all sweet and, and, and honey It's going to become bitter. OK, because, you know, we're being purged in the spirit. You know, we're being, you know, renewed in the spirit, you know, being reborn again. OK, and like a baby is physically born, you know, that baby has to crawl before it walks. And before it fully, you know, understands and learns how to walk, it's going to stumble some time. You know, but like the scriptures say, a righteous man fall, but get back up. OK, and the truth is all about, you know, you're going to it's all about growing pains and learning experiences, man. But that's all part of the spiritual baptism. That's all part of the furnace of adversity. OK, the Lord is putting us through this baptism to purge out, you know, uh, our impurities that we may have within ourselves. OK, you know, so that's. You know, being reborn, you know, being uh, reborn, you know, being born again, you know, uh, uh, and, uh, spiritually, okay, in the mind, in the spirit, okay? So that's why this lesson is titled, you know, there's always room for improvement, okay? A.K.A. growth, you know? Because you got to grow in the truth. You can't, you know, uh, remain stagnant, all right? So I got that. Now let's get... um. Uh, what did I have on deck? All right, let's get this. This is the book of Second Corinthians. And I'm going to read these two in the NLT, actually, these two scriptures I got lined up. Second Corinthians 4 and verse. I'll start at 16. And the NLT says, uh, that is why we never give up. Though our bodies are dying, our spirits are being renewed every day. 2 Corinthians 4 and 16, okay? The, uh, the NLT, I read it again. It says, that is why we never give up. Though our bodies are dying, our spirits are being renewed every day, okay? And that's, and that's and, and guess what? It is being renewed uh, day by day, okay? Because even though our fleshes may be weak at times, you know, we may be going through things, whatever the case may be, but guess what? Our spirits, our spirit, our, our spirits are getting stronger, Okay, your spirit is getting stronger. All right, because you know the the things that you may go through with truth, the sufferings, you know the uh, the ups and downs, the highs and lows. That's the, the, the you know that's the Lord you know building us up, you know, and us and us going through the bitter, you know, and us you know going through certain experiences in His truth, you know, is how you're gonna grow. Okay, because like the scriptures say, you know, through much travel, a man gains experience. All right. So us, you know, gaining experience, you know, is, is how is how you're going to grow in this truth, man. All right. And this truth is not, you know, it's, it's not easy. You know, now, of course, you know, when you come in, when you first come in the truth, you know, it's very sweet. You find out that you're an Israelite. You know, you know the name of the Lord. You know that you got a kingdom coming. You know, you know, a tribe you from, you know, through faith. OK, but ultimately that's beautiful. But guess what? It's going to get more. It's going to get less sweet than that. It's going to get bitter. You know, once you find out about, 
you know, uh, 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 you know, the, um, uh, you know, the, the bitterness of the scriptures, you know, find out about, you know, the things that are going to happen upon these people and, and, you know, within this earth, you know, things are going to happen, man. That's why, you know, in the book of Acts 14 and I believe verse 22, it says that through much tribulation, we shall enter into the kingdom. Okay. So before, you know, things have, you know, you know, smooth. Okay. Things are going to be, it's going to be bumpy, a very uh, bumpy road. All right. Before you get to peace, you have to go through war. Right. So us, you know, uh, uh, so us, you know, getting that experience to be perfected, you know, and being the, and, and being the creatures in Yahweh Shai, we got to, you know, go through things. You know, you're going to fall, you're going to stumble. But guess what? You're going to get back up. All right. And the L's that we take in the truth is not, you know, losses, but they're lessons. OK, lessons to uh, uh, to to learn from, you know, and to take that and eat that up. OK. And to, you know, bring forth to the sheep. So that way they can be converted and, you know, and be healed and strengthened, you know, just like how I believe told Peter, he said, straight, strengthen thy brother. So, so that way he may be converted and be healed, meaning whatever you go through or, or should I say, whatever you overcome through the spirit, through the Lord, you know, put your brothers on, you know, so that way when, when they or if, if they do go through the, that situation that you go, that you have went through, you can, you know, give them the inside scoop. So that way they can have, you know, a, um, a, uh, a better insight, you know, to handle that situation, you see, but, but overall, ultimately our spirits are being renewed, you know, we're being, you know, born again. Okay. And it says verse 17 for, our, and, uh, and actually before I continue the scripture, I wanted to uh, go into this word renewed. Okay. So like, yeah, let's go into this word, this word renewed. The word renewed, it says, uh, well, the, I'll, I'll just see what he says. Strong's G341. Anakainao. 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 Okay. And that word renew, it means uh, to be changed into a new kind of life as opposed to the former corrupt state. You see? So what's that? You know, uh, putting off that old man and putting on the new man, you see, putting off childish things, you know, and, and being that man, you know, being the man of the Lord. You know, and like I said earlier, you know, Apostle Kabar, a couple years back, he said, um, be, uh, you got, uh, in order to be a man of the Lord, you have to be a man first, you know, and and, you know, and entering manhood, you know, can be, you know, uh. A lot of times, you know, in the world of Babylon, you know, jakes aren't put on this to certain things, you know, but that's why this truth, you know, is so high level. You know, you you you, uh, you do things and you become, you know, a better person, a better man, you know, and you realize that you, that you are capable, you know, than things that you would never have thought of, you know, but that's all through you. How about Shemal Shai? You see? And it says uh, to be changed into a new kind of life as opposed to the former corrupt state. Right, man. As opposed, you know, to the former man, you know, to the former, you know, a uh, corrupt man that we once were because because we were Gentiles, you know, Gentiles in the, uh, um, in the mind. OK. And speaking of um, the old man, this is the book of Second Corinthians, I believe it's 11. Uh, let's see. Maybe it's 13. It might be 1 Corinthians. Let's try this. Yep, this is 1 Corinthians 13 and verse 11. It says, uh, this is the KJV. When I, w when I was a child, I spake as a child. I, I understood as a child. I thought as a child, right, you know, being a Gentile, you know, even, you know, first coming to the truth, you know, speaking, speaking for myself, you know, I still did things. Of course, it wasn't wicked. It wasn't I, I didn't do it, you know, in a wicked manner and th things of that nature. But I, I still had, you know, Gentile ways to me, you know, because when you first come in, you know, it's it steps in the truth, man, You, you because we are being cleansed, 
It says the inward man is renewed day by day. So every day is a learning experience, man. Okay? You're not, you're not going to come in this truth. Now, of course, the Lord can make it happen overnight. Okay? The, the Lord can do anything. But the Lord, he is purging us of the impurities, man, because we're being uh, tried as gold. As, uh, we're being uh, um, tried, tried as gold is in the fire. You see? And it says... But when I became a man, I put away childish things. You see, but we know when you you know became a man is truth. You know you put away the you know the Gentile things that you once did. You know, you you know uh, uh, obtained a whole different and new mindset through the Spirit. You know, you you know you have you know you may have you know brothers that are over you. Well, more than likely, you know that can put you on to you know to new and better things. And to help you out in your walk, you know, in, in, in your journey, you see? And that's what it's all about, man. Okay, you know, becoming better, you know, the next day than you were yesterday. That's all, that, that's that's what it's about, okay? Oh, excuse me, that's one of the aspects of, of this truth, you know, that's, you know, that's, it's about, you know, because this, like I said earlier, the truth is multifaceted, man. So, but we're growing every day, okay? Now, back in, um... Second Corinthians uh, 4 and 16. Just to finish it off for our edification sake. And it says, or excuse me, verse 17, back in the NLT, it says, For our present troubles are small and won't last very long. Yet they produce for us a glory that vastly outweighs them and will last forever. Right, man? Okay, you know, the troubles that we go through in captivity is temporal. You know, because right now we're in punishment. You know, we're just waiting to be delivered. OK, and the glory that the Lord is going to give us is going to be worth the wait, you know, because we're going to be immortal. We're going to have the uh, new covenant in, in our emerald parts. We're going to be walking Bibles. We're going to be righteous. OK, and then on top of that, we're going to rule forever, man. OK, and we are going to finally see, you know, a world, you know, the planet Earth, you know, completely be under a righteous vibration, man. Because, you know, but Babylon gives you nothing but stress, you know, anxiety, you know, uh, um, worriness and all kinds of BS, man. This place is complete through, man. It's a demonic vibration here. You can't get real peace here. Now, of course, we have the peace of Yahweh Shai, you know. That's why through the spirit we're able to, you know, um, able to, uh, you know, handle the things that, that are, you know, put in our faces here, you know. But ultimately, man, this place is, you know, is, is needed for this place to be destroyed. But that's why we know we're hastening unto the day of Yahweh Shai because we know, you know, uh, that Yahweh Shai is coming back to, you know, put things back in, you know, order. Okay. Verse 18, it says, so we, so we don't look at the troubles we can see now. Rather, we fix in our, we fix our gaze on things that cannot be seen for the things we see will, for the things we see now will soon be gone. But the things we cannot see will last forever. And that's the kingdom. OK, that's, you know, a, a world of righteousness, the kingdom of Israel. OK. Yahweh Shai's man, King David, the elect, excuse me, uh, uh, Yahweh Shai, King David, the 12, the elect and the rest of Israel. We're all. Listen, man, it's going to be a very harmonious, you know, world, man. This place is going to be, you know, Eden, meaning paradise. OK, this whole world, this whole earth is going to be. A complete paradise, man, for the nation of Israel. Okay, it's, it's, it's even gonna, it's, it's even gonna be, you know, uh, uh you know, uh, um, a good place, a great place for the heathen. You know, they they're gonna be good too. Okay, but as far as Esau goes, that heathen nation, you know, after, you know, uh, everything is said and done, you know, they're gonna be, you know, cut off forever. Okay, pursuant to the book of Obadiah, okay, the eighteenth verse. You see, you know, but ultimately the point is, you know, in this truth, you know, we, uh, we look to obtain, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, you know, um, perfection, if you will, you know, just like, I believe you have said, be, be perfect, be perfect as I am, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Let me just look that up real quick. Real quickly. Be perfect. KJB. Okay, 
uh, Matthew 5 and 48, it says, be ye perfect, excuse me, be ye therefore perfect, even as your father, which, which is in heaven is perfect, you know? Now, of course, in this flesh, we can't reach ultimate, in the ultimate perfection, you know, but, but we are trying our best, you know, you know, through the spirit to, you know, to be more holy, you know, to be, you know, more righteous, you see? Ultimately, you know, uh, we are doing our best to remain that path of righteousness, man, and not be, you know, amongst these wicked ass people. OK, because nobody in this, you know, in this, in this wicked society besides the elect, you know, is following after, you know, Yahweh Bashmah Shai. You see, they're doing wickedness, you know, and they're not trying to be perfect. You know, they're not trying to, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh. You know, purge out any spiritual impurities that they may have within themselves. OK, they're content with the way they live. You know, they're content with, you know, the way, you know, that, you know, uh, they're living. OK, but us, you know, through the spirit, you know, we try to be better each day. Like the scripture said, you know, the inward man is, is renewed day by day because every day. OK, you know, comes growth. OK, because uh, case in point, the uh, lesson, the, the title of the lesson is uh, there's always room for improvement. OK, now let's head to uh, Second Corinthians five and verse 17. And it says. Wait, hold up. Let's see here. Yep. Second Corinthians five and verse um, 17. And. Um, the KJV says, therefore, if any man be any Havashai, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Let's read it again. Second Corinthians 5 and 17. Therefore, if any man be, be any Havashai Mashiach, he is a new creature. You know, there goes that word new. OK, and we just read earlier, uh, Second Corinthians 4 and 16, it said renew. So let's see what this word new means. OK. Strong's G twenty five thirty seven, Kainas, Kainas. Kainas. New it says, um, um, fresh. Okay, uh, uh, unworn, unused, unprecedented. Okay, so so new. You know, it means, and that's what it means. New. You know, being that being that new creature, like we read earlier in in John three, and verse three. You know, being reborn again. You know, and it says he is a new creature, right? Uh, uh, you know, that new man, you know, old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. OK, right here in the NLT it says this means that anyone who belongs to Yahweh Shai Mashiach has become a new person. You see a new person. OK, whether you're a brother or, or one of or, or, or a sincere sister. Whether you're a sincere brother or a sincere sister, right? You have, you know, gave your life to the Lord to, you know, to uh to to uh to better yourself, to you know, to to put off, you know, the old man or the old woman. You see? And it says, the old life is gone, a new life has begun. Okay? And that's all part of this baptism. Okay? Every day you're gonna every day there's this growth because there's always room for improvement. OK, it's more it's more, you know, than just knowing that you're an Israelite, you know, so on and so forth. The truth is very multifaceted, man. Like I said earlier, OK, you may think that you may know yourself and you may think that, you know, you may know who you are. But the scriptures say, you know, examine thyself daily, I believe. Let's get that real quick. Maybe I was, uh, let's see. Okay. Um, second, second Corinthians 13 to five, it says, examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith, prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves 
how that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is in you, except you be reprobates. Okay, right, man. So examine yourself, you know, uh, scrutinize yourself, you know, take a step back, you know, and, you know, see, you know, and examine through, of course, through the spirits and our prayers and, uh, you know, pray to the Lord to, you know, uh, uh, you know, um, point out the things that you, you know, need to work on, of course. And I'm speaking to myself first and foremost. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm not nobody, you know, in, in, any different than you. OK, I'm just a man. OK, and I have to examine myself as well. You see, I'm not just saying this, you know, for no reason. OK, because this truth, you know, is very heavy, man. So we so we have to always constantly examine ourselves, you know, how we don't you know, treat our brothers, you know, how we, you know, um, how do we, you know, um, conduct ourselves, you know, outside of, you know, the camp, you know, within the camp, you know, as far as being out here in the world and. You know, uh, uh, you know, in certain circumstances, you know, the list goes on, man. You know, so you ha always have to, you know, uh, scrutinize yourself. You know, whether you know whether you know uh, whether you like it or not. Okay, there's always <laughs> you're always gonna you know uh, grow, man. Okay, and it says, um, okay, back in um, Saint Corinthians five and verse seventeen in the NLT, it says. Uh, the old life is gone. A new life has begun. OK, and we're we're living that new life. You know, we're being a living sacrifice, you know, you know, toward, you know, for the Lord, you know, putting this word, putting this this world on the back burner, you know, and putting, you know, you have about Shemal Shai first, you know, putting ourselves in the back burner, you know, and being that living sacrifice to you have about Shemal Shai because it's our reasonable service. OK, we must do this, man. OK. And actually, let's see here. Let's go to this real quick. This is a. Uh, Second Timothy, chapter two and verse 21 in the GNT. And it says and the GNT stands for a good news translation, you know, and, and the good and, and that's the, the word gospel means the good news. OK, it's good news to hear that. You know, the Lord has given us opportunity, you know, to get right before he returns, you know. <clears throat> this is um, uh, Second Timothy 2 and 21. It says, oh, it, oh, and actually uh, speaking of Salakia, um, um, a, priest, a priest just came to mind because I'm going to hold this. OK, because uh, how can I word it? How does it go? OK, uh, let's do this real quick, because I wanted to also land back off the uh, St. Corinthians, um, St. Corinthians, damn, what was that? St. Corinthians 13 to 5, and I wanted to uh, get a precept off that. Lucky about this. Yes, this is a uh, Sirach or, or or Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, Sirach eighteen and verse twenty, and it says, "Before judgment, examine thyself." You see, so before you know, uh, so you want to examine yourself, you know, before things, you know, take a turn for the left, because you don't want to not examine yourself, you know, not have discernment, spiritual discernment, you know, in the things that, you know. That you're doing that may be, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, bad, you know, like bad for you, if you will, you know, examine yourself, you know, examine, you know, uh, uh, you know, your, uh, you know, your, uh, your conduct, you know, examine your mindset, you know, all those things play a part. Okay. You know, and, um, you know, that's what it's all about, man. Just examine yourself. You know, and 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 looking for things, you know, that uh, that uh, you can you know fix, so that way you can you know grow, you know, because just like a a, a plant, you know, if you see dead dead leaves in the plant, you know, the the plant is not gonna grow or grow as fast, you know, you know, and and if you see dead leaves in the plant, you gotta do what? You gotta you gotta uh, cut it off, you know, you gotta you know cut those those dead leaves 
off so that way it can grow new leaves, you know? So that's what we got to do. We got to cut, you know, uh, certain things off or, you know, just do things in moderation, you know, whatever the case may be, okay? And just continue to examine ourselves so that way we can, you know, uh, grow, okay? And it says, before judgment, examine thyself. And in the day of visitation, thou shalt find mercy. Because why? Because you're not being wicked. Because you're examining yourself, being sincere, you know, and you're actually trying to, you know, um, you know, get right with the Lord, you know. And you examine yourself as, as ultimately faith anyhow by Shema Shai, because through him, you know that, you know, you're going to, you know, uh, become a better, you know, a, a better, you know, a vessel, you know, to serve Yahweh by Shema Shai. Okay. Now let's head to this. This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 21 in the GNT. And it says, those who make themselves clean from all those evil things will be used for special purposes because they are dedicated and useful to their master, ready to be used for every good deed. Okay. Now we're quickly let's look at the same scripture, but in the KJV. 2 Timothy 2 and verse 21, and it says, If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. You see? So we purge ourselves of, of, of certain periods that we may be, you know, dealing with, you know, because the spiritual battle, man, hey, the spiritual battle, you know, the... Uh, the flesh is always at war against the spirit, man. Okay, so we have to, you know, uh, do our best to, you know, walk in the spirit and remain in the spirit, you know, and, you know, and uh, def continue to defeat the flesh. Okay, because this flesh is just, you know, this flesh is wicked, man. You know, this, you know, this flesh, you know, it, it, it you know, has a mind of its own, you know, like the movie Venom, you know, the, the, that, the, the, uh, the venom, that shit was the flesh, man. You know, when you look at the movie, you know, with a spiritual eye, okay, venom was, you know, he wanted to eat every time he wanted to, you know, eat people and do things and, you know, and, and the character, I believe Tom Hardy played venom. He said, no, you know, we can't do that. No, we can't do this. We can't do that. No, no, no. So he was de denying himself, which is the flesh ultimately, you know, to do things that his spirit wanted, you know, to do. If you look at it, they're moving in the spiritual sense. OK, so what I'm saying is we've got to do the same thing. Now, of course, it's, it's easier. It's easier said than done, you know, because, hey, man, things are going to happen. You're going to fall. But, hey, you got to get back up. You can't, you know, quit because quitting isn't the option. You see, but that's what makes us grow. You know, learn from those those lessons and grow from those lessons, you know, to ultimately, you know, because when that when, when that, you know, if that does arise again, you know how to handle it, you see, or if you see a brother, you know, going through it, you know, the same, you know, uh, uh, ordeal that, that you went through, you can put that brother on so that way he can overcome that, you see, and that's what it's all about, man, you know, purging yourself, you know, self-examination, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, being tried as gold in the fire. Okay, let's get that real quick. This is the book of, because I, because I did quote this earlier, so I might as well get it. This is uh, the book of Sirach 2 and verse 5. It says, for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. That's his baptism. Okay. Because in hey, but the truth, man, is, is real life. This truth is real life. The truth is reality. And that's one thing, too. These other camps, you know, they don't tell Jake or the congregation about the bitter of the truth. They just tell him the sweet. You know, they just want to party and bullshit, man. OK, but when things happen, when shit, the fan. OK, they're, they're going to be asked out. All right, because the, these wicked shepherds are not properly feeding, you know, you know, the sheep. OK. They're feeding the sheep bullshit. But when Jacob's trouble come, the hour of temptation, okay? Hey, we gonna, listen, man. 
this is going to be a lot of Jakes that are going to be tripping out here, man. But that's why it says in Isaiah 33 and 6 that it says the wisdom, the wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. OK, because the Lord, you know, uh, has set up pastors according to his heart, which is the apostles, you know, the elder apostles of Great Millstone. OK, and not down, you know, to give us the 100 percent truth, raw like sushi and straight, you know, chaser, man. So, you know, to, you know, to uh, to build us up in the spirit, you see. So that way, when things, you know, hit the fan in the near near future, we have, you know, uh, uh, we have the um, the uh, the wisdom and knowledge, you know, through Yahweh Bashmah Shai, okay, via our elder apostles, we have the knowledge of wisdom to withstand in that evil day, okay, through faith, of course, through you know, any Yahweh Bashmah Shai, you see. So, so we're all being tried as gold in the fire, man. And it says, and acceptable men, you see, accept, uh, acceptable men, you know, men that are worthy. You see, men that can handle this because like it says in 1 Corinthians 10, 13, the Lord is not going to give you nothing that you can't handle, but make a way thereof uh, that you can escape it, roughly paraphrasing it. Okay. So, so every day we're being tried as gold, man. Every day imper impurities are, 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 are being, uh, um, are being subtracted from, you know, uh, um, uh, you know, um, our body, you know, our spirit, you see. So we're so, hey man, you know, we're in a good case scenario, you know, we you know, hey man, just keep fighting, you know, keep your faith anyhow by small shy because, this is, listen man, it's, it's gonna get bad out here, you know. So remain faithful, humble. You know, and just stay the course, man, and pray to the Lord to endure to the end, to be delivered, to be beamed up in that heavenly chariot, man. Okay. So this is, you know, Lord's will. This lesson was edifying to the to the Lord's sheep. You know, Lord's will. You sheep, the sheep was fed, and I just want to say, call him lame lie, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhakwadash. Double honor be unto the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach well. And I shall I want to you, send to your Akim out there that's pushing the truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and with that being said, Shalom.